While most of us love the warm weather, our floors do not snow melting, muck, grime, stuff through the entrances into our kitchens. Mike Yanni now with a vacuum. Uh, the Dyson, I want to get the name proper. It's it's the Dyson what? Hard. Hard. That's Dyson what it's called. Hard. I For think hardwood floors. Well, not just hardwood, hardwood, but hard floors. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I mean, anything tile, laminates, uh, okay. hardwood, it all works. So first and foremost to remember, um, it's a vacuum. Yeah. Right? So it's... Dyson, very well built vacuums. This is no difference. You know, you got your canister up here, a quick latch, and it all pours out the bottom. Oh, all the gunk or whatever. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. really easy. Uh, no vacuum bags to deal with. You also have a filter built in here that I can un unattach if I just hit that button there. Okay. Uh, so when I flip it around here, you'll see that it actually sucks from the front and the back. Oh, so the that's idea a good as, that's as a you're cool sweeping feature, yeah. uh, before the wipe and after the wipe, uh, it, it sucks up. So, and it works well. I mean, you'll see here, I'll turn it on, and we got lots of dust here on the floor. It works fantastic. The one thing it does not work so very well on yeah. is the grime. The oh, like, like the stuff from the bottom of your right. shoes, Any right? Any vacuum's gonna have a problem. Yeah. So Dyson came up with a solution with that. I'm gonna get you to hold this for one second. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna show you the insert that comes with it. And that's this, this goes on the bottom. What you do is you get these, I guess you can call them almost like wet wipes from oh, okay. Dyson, they're Dyson branded. And then you just wrap it around this insert that goes on the bottom. Okay. Really easy to do. Oh, you just kind of pinch the edges, right? Pinch and away it, you go. And then it's going to snap in. Yeah, okay? it's kind of like a Swiffer, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Of course, gravity's working against me this morning. Yeah. <laughs> you can do it in five seconds at home, but exactly. on live but television, on television, it always takes longer. Not yeah. so much. I'm just going to snap that in place. Okay. There also, those so red snap. inserts are kind of your guide, right? Exactly. That's where they go. I don't know if it's we can see the red. It's not snapped. Yeah, okay. So. You, I'll let you do the honors. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Can you hold that yeah, for me? Yeah, give it a little push down. So, okay. You got it. Like, do I put weight on it? Is that? You don't have to, but then just pull the trigger. And away you go. Okay. That's not bad. So it's not too bad, right? So it's sucking up dust and, oh wait, I missed that one. So one thing it doesn't do is large pieces yeah. of dust. Like the larger dust like bunnies, this one right that's there. a really coarse dust bunny. <laughs> that, that's television grade dust bunny. Exactly. So is, yeah. anything like macaroni, coffee beans, it's not going to suck sure, that up. But sure. it does a good job on collecting the fine dust along the banisters as you go. Yeah. Uh, and it does a fairly good job wiping. Now one thing I do want to point out is of course, you have to buy the inserts. Okay. Inserts run about 62 cents a piece. You get about 72 dollars or 72 inserts for huh. 45 bucks. So it's going to add up. Uh, one thing you should mention too, as you're cleaning, you don't yeah. have to have the vacuum going the entire time. Yeah, I'm not doing it right now. I'm using it like a Swiffer. Yeah. yeah. The vacuum will last about 15 minutes on a single charge. Oh, the charge. It's okay. going to take a couple hours to charge sure. that. Sure. So you're going to want to just mostly use, you know, good old elbow grease and not use the vacuum all the yeah. time. Overall, it works pretty good. But I will say one thing. The wet wipes dry out as you start sweeping. Well, I noticed this one is starting to do it's starting that to dry now, out, right? right? And when, when you got all the dust on the floor from the bottom of your boots and the snow and stuff, it'll dry out fast. Exactly, yeah. that's the problem. Once they dry out, you will start to see streaks. Okay. So you have to continuously swap out the wet oh, wipes. Oh, using the you, it, Dyson. Exactly. You're so, so smart so for continuous cash flow. You're paying three hundred fifty dollars yeah. yeah. for the Dyson Hard for the unit, which is which is a solid unit. Yeah. But there's added costs on top of that because you have to continuously buy them. Okay. Now I did find a trick, and I'm sure Dyson won't like this for me saying this. <laughs> when the little wet nap, the the thing starts drying out. Yeah. What I did was I just took some hardwood floor cleaner and sprayed it oh, on the so floor. Oh, so you moisten the floor for it. moistening it, and I found I can get more out of the pad that <laughs> Gadget way. Gadget guy, Sorry, saving Dyson. the 62 cents. Sorry, Dyson, but it'll save you a bit of cash. Uh, but the biggest problem was the streaks after they start drying yeah. out. And the larger chunks that it doesn't pick up. The larger chunks, uh, okay. This, honestly, this is great for maintenance. If you have a lot of hardwood floors and you let it go and you get really dirty, it's going to be a lot of work using the Dyson Hard to clean the entire sure. floor. It's a lot of, you know, swiping out the uh, the wet naps and whatnot. Yeah. It's great for maintenance and for smaller areas, okay. especially spills clean up at the front door. Yeah, Perfect exactly. For that. Right. Like the foyer or the back door where everyone's coming in and leaving exactly. all their stuff, right? Yeah, but for big jobs, elbow grease is still the way to go. There you go. Good stuff. Uh, full review on the website? It will be on the website, yes. All right, good stuff. Breakfasttelevision.ca. Click on blogs and look for Mike Yanni, our Gadget Guys blog. Lots of information there.